Clinical Pearls, brought to you by Medicom Oncology. So hi, my name is Dr. Eileen O'Reilly, and I'm going to cover the topic of what are the unique aspects of pancreas cancer that lead to the development of novel therapeutics. So a, a couple of, of comments on this. Pancreas cancer has a, has a unique microenvironment. It's characterized by a number of issues. One, that there's a marked desmoplastic component, meaning that there's relatively few epithelial malignant cells, but a lot of other stuff uh, that's present. In addition, uh, the pancreas microenvironment is characterized by a lack of effector immune cells. It's a relatively immune-suppressed environment, and these days this is obviously a very important consideration and may in part explain why there hasn't been a robust signal as yet with immune-directed therapies in this disease. Nonetheless, there are some early hints. The microenvironment is also relatively hypoxic, so not well oxygenated, and it provides a physical barrier that may, to some degree, protect tumor cells against getting effective doses of cytotoxic and other agents uh, to the environment. And this is putated, again, as one of the mechanisms for why uh, pancreas cancer is a particularly challenging malignancy from the therapeutic perspective. Other points to note that there are a number of uh, critical genomic mutations, KRAS, P53, CDKN2, and uh, these as yet are not effectively targetable uh, from a drug perspective. And pancreas cancer has also got a marked uh, inflammatory uh, microenvironment with a lot of uh, myeloid uh, suppressive cells, M2 macrophages, and all of the above uh, contributes to the somewhat hostile uh, setting in which pancreas cancer cells are nurtured. And these collectively uh, provide uh, challenges from uh, both cytotoxic therapy and from immune targeted approaches. Don't forget to subscribe to the Medicom Oncology podcast channel for more clinical pearls. And be sure to visit partnersinpancreaticcancer.com for more practice resources.